cervical spondylosis and disc bulge. What are your options? In this episode of Ask Dr. Walter Slubro, I'm gonna answer this question right here. And the question is, my MRI impression is degenerative cervical spondylosis. Could a chiropractor help me with C6, C7 disc bulge? Great question. Essentially what this person is asking is if I have cervical spondylosis or if I have cervical degeneration, cervical disc disease, a degenerative disc disease, cervical osteoarthritis, and also have a disc bulge, can chiropractic help if there is a disc bulge? And the short answer is yes. How? By improving the alignment and the position of the spine to a better functional situation where it's moving better and also a better structural situation where it's positioned better. Now, what is a cervical spondylosis or degenerative disc disease or degenerative arthritis of the spine? Essentially, it's a wear and tear that shows up on the spinal tissues or on the disc tissues. So here's an example of degeneration, okay? So look at those bony spurs there. That's not good. This bulge, right? Look at the disc, it's desiccated or worn out. All these bony spurs. This is an exa and then over here, the actual facets over here, the facet joints, they're roughed up, sclerotic, and degenerated, okay? So that's examples of cervical spondylosis. Normally, what it would look like is like this. So nice, normal spine, right? Segment, smooth disc, nice disc, integrity, no irritation on the nerves. And when there is degeneration on those nerves where they squish down just like that, right? Right there, okay? Or the disc is being bulged and nerves are being compressed, then the supporting structures of the spine are being irritated. Muscles, tendons, that distorts posture, causes irritation, tightness. The ligament capsules, the discs, it causes inflammation and eventually pain. The nerves begin to get irritated, cause numbness and tingling. So the possible symptoms with cervical spondylosis or even a disc bulge at C5, C6, or C6, C7 is possible numbness and tingling to the hands and fingers if the nerves are involved. Neck pain, headaches, pain around the face, upper shoulder tension and pain, upper back tension and pain, stiffness, lack of mobility, irritability, all these things are related to problems with the neck. So can a chiropractor help? The answer is yes. How? By improving the alignment issue that's causing the degeneration, correcting spinal misalignments, by restoring postural positions, by getting the spine to actually move better if they're degenerated, because movement is health to your spine and to your discs, by relieving pressure on those nerves that are causing pain down the hands and fingers, and essentially also for long-term, because that's immediate gains, right, the benefits, but for long-term, stabilize the spine and postural positions and prevent these problems from reoccurring or even progressing in a quicker rate in the future. So super beneficial. Highly recommend getting chiropractic checkup. If you're looking for a corrective care chiropractor, I'm a trained and certified uh, in advanced chiropractic biophysics. If you're looking for someone similar like that, just let me know in the comments below. Type, you know, uh, can you refer me to a corrective care chiropractor and I'll send you a directory of trained and certified chiropractic biophysics docs. You type in your address and hopefully you can find someone in the United States or Canada that can help you. If you want more answers and questions in this type of format, go to my playlist right over here right there. I know I'm pointing to it right over there, okay? And you'll see more uh, question and answers in my series called Ask Dr. Walter Slubro right over there.